Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we are testing out five different watercolor hacks. Now, some of these things I haven't actually done before, so we're gonna be doing them for the first time and I'm gonna let you know if they work or not. Almost every one of these issues are things that people have reached out to me about asking if they work or if they don't work and how they can fix them. So today I'm gonna to test them all out and let you know what works and what doesn't. So let's jump right in. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with warped paper and that usually happens when you have a lot of water on your paper and then when it dries, it kind of dries unevenly and your paper can be kind of bumpy. So to prevent that from happening, what you can do is tape it down on all sides to a board or your desk. Now, it doesn't completely get rid of the warping during your painting, but it will help. Now, what I'm gonna do now is test out two other ways to flatten your watercolor paper once it's dried, so let's try it. Okay, so this first method that I am going to show you, I have done before. Um, you can see that the paper is slightly warped. What I do is I lay it down on a clean surface, so in this case, my watercolor notebook, um, and then I just spray the back with clean water all over evenly, and then I will close the notebook and I will lay heavy, heavy objects on it and leave it there to dry overnight. And it will usually become flat by the morning. Okay, so the next method to flatten your watercolor paper is to place it on a clean tea towel and then have another clean tea towel or a light material and place it over the back. And you're just gonna iron it on a low setting. Now I kept checking to see if it was getting any better and it wasn't a big change, but I think I gave up too early. So I think you should just keep trying it and eventually it will flatten out the paper or at least make it flatter than it once was. Okay, so the next hack we're gonna work on is a beading palette. Now this happens when you have a brand new watercolor palette and the color seems to bead together when you try and put it on the palette. So this is a huge issue for lots of people. What I usually do is I just keep using the palette over and over again until eventually it stops, but more recently, my professional palette that I just filled up a couple months ago took forever for the beading to stop. So I have found two different hacks that we're gonna try out today to see if it will prevent that from happening. So this is ideally what you want your palette to look like. So this way you can mix pre-made colors and then let them dry and then they can be reused again just by activating them with water. So for this hack, we are gonna be using a glue stick and toothpaste. There's two different types of hacks that we can do here and we're gonna see which one works better or if they both work or if neither of them do. So this is what beading looks like on a brand new palette. They kind of soak up and it just, it's hard to mix colors this way. So let's try the toothpaste first. And I'm just gonna open the toothpaste and put a little dollop on the middle of the mixing well. Just like that. And then I'm gonna use a sponge to scrub it all around that mixing well. You know, you don't have to spend too, too much time scrubbing it, but just, you know, give it a minute or two maybe. Really scrub it in there. And now while that dries a little bit, let's try the glue stick. We're just gonna put a little bit of glue on the middle there. We're gonna take another corner of that sponge and we are just gonna scrub it around as well. And then I'm gonna take a wet paper towel and I'm just gonna wipe some of that toothpaste and the glue off. Not completely, but just enough so it's not sticky to the touch. Okay, so now let's give it a try. Looking at the toothpaste side, the beading hasn't completely stopped, but it's not as bad as before. And then the glue side, holy cow, it completely worked. That is what you want. I'm just gonna add a bit more pigment. There's still some parts that aren't really, the paint's not sticking to it, but it seems like the glue stick side really worked well. I think I'm shocked. <laughs> So essentially both of them work, but the glue stick definitely works better. Okay, so the next hack that we're gonna be trying is using your hair dryer as a heat tool. Now, I use my heat tool all the time. It speeds up the drying process, and especially when I'm on a time limit of painting, I like to make it go faster. So a lot of people have asked me if they can use their hair dryer as a heat tool. Some people have said it has worked, I haven't actually tried it out myself, so we're gonna give it a go today, but I imagine if you put it on a low, hot setting, it should work, but let's go and test it out now. 
Okay, so I started off by painting a quick petal and I'm gonna be using my heat tool first just to show you how it works. I got this off a website called Simon Says Stamp like maybe four years ago, but they do sell them on Amazon for pretty cheap and at Michael's for a little bit more money. Um, but it dries it pretty fast and pretty evenly. And now we're gonna test out my hair dryer, which is a pretty good hair dryer. Um, I'm gonna put it on a low hot setting and it's blowing the paint right off the page. Um, hmm. It's on the lowest setting. Let's try without the nozzle. All right, okay, did the same thing. Let's try from further away. Okay, it's better, but it's still a bit too powerful and it is on the lowest setting. So if your hair dryer is maybe not as powerful, it would work better, but for me, this is not working. Okay, so the next hack we're gonna be using is using watercolor pencils as an outline for your watercolor drawings. Now, a lot of us like to use pencil to sketch out our drawings first before we paint them, but as you know, it leaves that pencil mark underneath your watercolor drawings. Because watercolor is a transparent medium, it's not very desirable to have that pencil mark. And a lot of people have suggested using watercolor soluble pencils. So I'm gonna give that a go and we're gonna see if that works. Okay, so here are my watercolor pencils. They're not the greatest, they're cheap and they're from Crayola. And I'm gonna start off just by drawing a petal shape. Um, I'm using the color that will be closest to the color I'll be painting with. And I haven't really used these much before. I'm not a big fan, but maybe I'm just not using them right. Um, so now I'm gonna start painting. And immediately I see that you can still see the line underneath, but I think what's supposed to happen is when you lay water on top of the pencil crayon mark, it will slowly turn into watercolor. So I think I just need to maybe spend a bit more time, not scrubbing, but you know, moving my brush around those lines to get rid of the pencil line. And now I'm just gonna do a quick one with pencils so we can see the difference. And comparing the two, the watercolor pencil definitely did work a lot better. You can see the lines, they're a lot less faint and because they're the same color, you know, it totally works. So I think this hack is, a definite win. Okay, so our last and final hack is what to do when your paint falls out of your palette. So this is when you are using two watercolors and you're putting them in your palette and you leave them there to dry. Sometimes they get loose and they fall out. It happens to me often. I just try to be really gentle with it, but I'm gonna show you how I stick them back in. So this last hack may be an obvious one, but when my paint comes out of the palette like that, I just get a little bit more paint from the tube and I'll squeeze it in the palette and I will stick that paint back in there. And it should hold until the next time it falls out, but it will happen a lot less often if you just continue to do that. Okay, so there you go. There are your five watercolor hacks. We got four out of five to work, which I think is pretty good. I was the most impressed with the watercolor beading on the palette with the glue stick. Like, really, a glue stick? That's crazy, it worked. But if you guys have any other hacks that you'd like to share, comment below. And also, if you have maybe a different hair dryer, because the hair dryer one didn't work as well, but you have a less powerful one that actually may work for you, let us also know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for even more. Have a great day, guys. Bye. These damn bangs are driving me nuts. I think I'm regretting my quarantine bangs. There.